In the wake of a frustrating loss to the Denver Nuggets, the Lakers nation finds itself in a whirlwind of emotions and questioning. The less than stellar performance this season has put Darvin Ham under intense scrutiny, raising doubts about his vision and strategy for the team. As criticisms intensify, a new hope emerges with the arrival of Harry Giles. Will this signing be the spark that reignites the Lakers' spirit, or is it time to consider deeper changes in coaching leadership? Subscribe to the channel and like this video, because today we analyze the paths ahead for the Lakers in search of answers in a season that proves to be a true test of resilience and determination. Even on the night when LeBron James surpassed the 40,000-point mark, the Los Angeles Lakers still suffered a significant significant defeat against the Nuggets. This game highlighted the tactical and execution difficulties faced by coach Darvin Ham at a critical moment in the season, with players often seeming out of place and a general lack of effective strategic adjustments throughout the game. This setback not only deepens concerns about the Lakers' ability to compete at the highest level, but also raises questions about the necessary changes to reverse the adverse situation in the season. Many believe that change should start from the Lakers coach. Darvin Ham's performance at the helm of the team has been a roller coaster of highs and lows, marked by notable victories and disappointing losses. Ham's ability to lead the Lakers has been a subject of intense debate among fans and analysts. His tactical decisions and how they align with the team's strengths have been crucial to the season's outcomes. The notable victories under Ham's leadership suggest moments when the team is able to capitalize on its potential, demonstrating cohesion on the court and effective strategic execution. These peaks of performance offer glimpses of what the team can achieve with the right direction and synergy between the coach and the player. Players. However, the disappointing losses, such as the recent one against the Denver Nuggets, cast shadows on his tactical approach. Criticisms have been directed at his ability to make adjustments during games and his strategy for player utilization. At various points, the team seemed disoriented and unable to adapt to the dynamics of the game, raising questions about the effectiveness of Ham's leadership in critical moments. The congruence between Ham's strategies and the team's strengths is a fundamental aspect for the Lakers' success. The season has shown a constant struggle to find this balance, with the team oscillating between displays of brilliance and tactical failures. As the season progresses, Ham's ability to align his tactical approaches with his players' skills will be crucial for the Lakers' future and his own tenure as coach. The analysis of Ham's performance this season reflects a transitional period for the Lakers, highlighting the need for a deep evaluation of his strategies and approaches ahead of the team. Expectations in this final stretch for the Lakers are both high and doubtful, fueled by strategic acquisitions and perceived potential suggesting competitive games. The arrival of promising players and the retention of veteran stars have generated a wave of optimism among fans and analysts, with the team always seeking to be in the spotlight. However, the reality has been a different story, with inconsistencies, injuries, and tactical challenges leading to results below expectations. The losses underscore the difficulties in translating theoretical potential into consistent on-court victories. And with that comes the question, how can the Lakers regain their consistency? Could the first step be to change the coach? Before that, they brought a fresh face to the team last week, which could be a possible improvement in both the defensive and offensive sectors. Harry Giles' arrival at the Lakers marks an intriguing addition to the team's lineup in this final stretch. Giles, who has a promising history since his high school and college days, brings a set of skills that could be very valuable for the Lakers. During his high school career, Giles was considered one of the top prospects, even ranked as the number one recruit in his class. His college career at Duke was promising, albeit marred by injuries, as Giles had to undergo knee surgeries. Despite these setbacks, he managed to make his debut and show flashes of his potential. Giles was able to record double-doubles, showcasing his ability on both offense and defense, which led to him being selected in the first round of the 2017 NBA Draft. In the NBA, Giles spent time with the Sacramento Kings where, after recovering from injuries, he showcased his talent, including a 20.7 rebound game, highlighting his ability to contribute significantly when healthy. His journey also included stints with the Portland Trail Blazers and the G League, where he continued to develop his game. 
For the Lakers, Giles' presence can offer a new dimension, both offensively and defensively. His rebounding ability and presence in the paint can help fill existing gaps in the Lakers lineup, especially with the need for depth in the front court. Additionally, his experience and resilience in the face of adversity can bring a valuable mindset to the team. Now returning to the current Lakers situation, we have to analyze the injuries, which are affecting key players and consequently the overall team performance. The team's ability to remain competitive in the absence of its stars has been put to the test, highlighting the direct impact of injuries on the dynamics and outcomes of games. Managing these absences by Darwin Ham in particular has been a critical point, with tactical decisions being adjusted to compensate for the lack of influential players. Ham's tactical response to injuries has involved rotating the roster and implementing strategies that seek to maximize the available talents. However, the effectiveness of these adjustments has varied, with some games demonstrating the team's ability to overcome adversity, while others expose significant vulnerabilities. In this situation, adjusting formations and distributing playing minutes are crucial to try to keep the team competitive despite unfavorable circumstances. In addition to injuries, Ham's tactical decisions such as using certain players in unconventional positions or altering the playing style have sparked debates about his strategic approach. The ability to adapt to game dynamics and make real-time adjustments has been a challenge, with criticism pointing to a lack of flexibility or delay in responding to critical situations during games. The interaction between injuries and tactical decisions highlights a continuing challenge for the Lakers, finding a balance between maintaining competitiveness and adapting to a season marked by unforeseen circumstances. How Ham and the team respond to these challenges in the remaining games of the season will be crucial to their aspirations and may define the course of their future actions, both in terms of roster management and tactical approaches. The future of Darwin Ham as the coach of the Lakers seems increasingly uncertain, with reports indicating growing discontent within the locker room. According to information, there is a deep disconnect between Ham and the players, exacerbated by constant adjustments in rotations and starting lineups, which have contributed to inconsistent rhythm among the players throughout the season. Despite speculations and increasing pressure, Ham stated he is not worried about his future, citing the ongoing support of the Lakers' ownership. Speculation about Ham's tenure intensifies as the Lakers prepare for crucial games in this home stretch, where negative results could decisively influence his future. Ham's situation with the Lakers reflects the franchise's constant pursuit of success and stability. With a winning percentage of 51.3% under his leadership, there is a clear discrepancy between the talent available on the team and the results achieved. The franchise, accustomed to being a title contender, now faces the challenge of assessing whether the current direction under Ham is best suited to achieve its championship ambitions. As the Lakers' season continues, it is crucial for fans to maintain their unwavering support for the team. In times of uncertainty and challenges, the strength of the fan community can be a beacon of hope and motivation for the players and coaching staff. It's time to come together, demonstrating the passion and loyalty that define the Lakers' nation.